Hi, I'm Ms. B, and in this video, I'm throwing down some serious solutions to help you deal with PIH, or post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. Now, if you have no idea what PIH is or what causes it, then check out part one of the series by following the link. For everyone else, let's talk about treatment options and products to help you get rid of those unwanted dark spots. To eradicate PIH from your skin, a treatment needs to tackle three different fronts. I call this the PIH hit list because it takes all three to get her good and gone. First, it's got to stop inflammation because isn't that what caused melanin to go crazy banana bonkers to begin with? Second, it's got to slow or stop melanin production. Whoa, Nelly, we've got enough pigmentation here. And third, it needs to speed up the turnover of new cells. Out with the old stuff and in with the new. Now it doesn't matter whether you get your treatment from a doctor or straight from store shelves. If it's not addressing all these, you'll be back in the ring fighting pH for another round. A medical professional will combine treatments and products to make sure you're covered. But if you're handling pH on your own, then you'll need to choose those treatments and products wisely. That's where the hit list is here to help. Also, I've created a detailed blog post that breaks down ingredients and products. And of course, it's hard to cover everything in a three minute video. So if you have ideas or thoughts on products or your own pH regimen, please feel free to share them in the comment section below. All right, let's talk about treatments. Skin lightening treatments are lotions or creams applied to the surface of the skin and best for treating epidermal pH. Pay a visit to the human with the stethoscope and you could walk away with a prescription for a product like Triluma, Silage, or Phenacea. Prescriptions come in higher concentrations and may produce more dramatic results, but can also be more irritating. Prefer to skip the dermatologist and instead hit up a drugstore or mall with a hot dog on a stick? Then you'll need to pay attention to the ingredients on the label and make sure your skincare routine covers all three of these. Otherwise, you could end up with a solution that only gets the job half done. Also, be aware that your pH fix may require more than just one product. An example of an over-the-counter skin lightening treatment is a product like Glow Therapeutic Skin Lightening Serum. It has azelaic acid to stop inflammation, it has hydroquinone to slow or stop melanin production, and it has salicylic, lactic, and ascorbic acid to speed up cell turnover. Next up, chemical peels. A chemical solution strips away layers of skin cells, promoting new growth and sending unwanted pigment packing. They treat mostly epidermal pH, and in low concentrations, you can pretty much get these anywhere. An example of an over-the-counter mild chemical pill is a product like Perfect Images Glycolic 30% Gel Pill. It only speeds up the turnover of new cells, so you'll need to combine it with another product or treatment in order to eradicate PIH. For higher concentrations, you'll need to plant your butt in the doctor's chair and be treated by a dermatologist. Chemical pills for dermal PIH do exist, but modern doctors take the less invasive, high-tech, sci-fi approach which brings me to my next treatment option. Lasers, they're not just for bad high school portraits. And evil, they're an additional weapon in your dermatologist's arsenal for dealing with PIH. A laser spectrum can be adjusted to target melanin in a specific color range. Shorter wavelengths are used to treat epidermal layers, while longer wavelengths penetrate deeper, treating dermal layers. Now a laser's gonna slow or stop melanin production, and speed up the turnover of new cells. Now, there's no over-the-counter version of a laser, so even if you're desperate, don't let anyone laser you, except a medical professional. Now, how long will it take to get rid of pH? The healing process is unique to each person, but can depend on things like skin tone, intensity of inflammation, strength of treatment, and the phase of the moon. Okay, kidding about that last part. I think. Roughly, epidermal pH can take three to six months before significant progress is seen, and dermal pH can even take a few years before it's resolved. My biggest words of wisdom while going through this are, start slow. 
Overdoing treatment strength or frequency can lead to increased irritation and further worsen PIH. Be patient. Treating PIH takes time. If you're feeling less than comfortable in your own skin while waiting for PIH to heal, there are some full coverage foundation options like Dermablend, Cover Effects, and CM Beauty to help. Use sunscreen. This is super important. Sun will increase melanin production, making pH worse. Also, pH treatments can make the skin less effective at protecting itself against UV radiation. My recommendation is to wear a broad spectrum sunscreen with an SPF of at least 30 and a physical block of titanium or zinc oxide. PIH can be a total bummer, but now you have some options to help you beat it. Like being in the know? Subscribe to this channel or check out my site at MissBeautiful.com where we're demystifying science and beauty every day.